Oh, he's on. What's going on, people? It's the main man back once again. <laughs> I think what we're going to do today in, in the week 10, we're going to show you more about the diet and that because we showed you in the gym, we showed you all the stuff that we're working out. But I want to show you the food I'm getting from this butchers now because um, not only that, I feel like diet is literally, I'm going to say maybe 95%. I want to sit down and talk to you about food as well because it's so important. Okay, let's get in here. What's that one there? That's uh, Alabama sauce, that one. Alabama sauce, that looks yeah. nice. What's on that one? That one, ginger, chili and lime. These are Hunter's chicken. Oh. Kiev's. Oh. Salt pepper. Yeah. Supremes. Oh, don't. I'll end up buying a whole rack. I live on my own and eat about, um, about 300, 400 grams of chicken a day or some, about 400 grams of meat a day. So. Where's my mask? Yeah. I haven't got one because I'm uh, asthmatic. So they said, I can't, they said I don't have to wear one. Oh, they look nice, them lamb burgers. Don't they? I might have to get a couple of them. So how much are they? 90p each. Do you, do you know like um, what the calories and like all of that is, or is it just? What are you saying? What's this here? Oh, I don't uh, see that. Look, that looks nice, but I don't really like wings. I don't, I don't like stuff with bones in it and stuff. You know? Don't like stuff. Don't like stuff. With... Yeah. What sort? Of, is there any sort of flavour on the steak or? Always fucking drama wherever we go, isn't it? <laughs> Literally everywhere we go in, someone starts fronting us, you know what I mean? Why are you, where's your mask? Where's your fucking recording? Mask matter, can you know what I mean? Right, people, so. We've been a butchers today, yeah, and I uh, just want to show you a few little bits of food that I've got. I want to show you that. I've got some of these garlic cloves, because to be honest, they just look that fresh, and I just like the look of it. They last me a while. This was the main thing I was excited about showing you, right? This is from uh, the market. Look at these potatoes, right? They've still got the dirt on them, but not only that, the only reason I got them is look at the size of them, right? Look how long that is, and look at... Imagine the fries I'm going to get out of these potatoes now. He said leave it in a, a dark place, it should last me like fucking six weeks or something. So that's good, so I've got my potatoes for a bit. Um, to be honest, one of these potatoes will last me two days. Now, I've been looking everywhere, Tesco, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, all of that. The biggest spud you can get is that, it's like round and shit. So these are the best ones for fries because they're dead long. Okay. So I'll show you that, but look at these as well, what I've got. Because I've been to the butchers, yeah, and with this pack, what I've done is, when I'm just seeing what, what they had, what sort of flavourings and all that, and I said to them, vacuum them for me, so I can put it in the fridge and it'll last me longer, it'll last me like a week instead. So I've got two steaks um, with this seasoning. I think she said it's like uh, smoky, Firehouse or something like that, I can't remember exactly. Um, I've got some teriyaki. Let me show the people this because I'm gonna have this for me tea in a minute. Let me show let me just open and show you this. Oh teriyaki beef stir fry, innit? Yeah, show the people this bro. Just rip it open now because I'm having this in a second. Look at that. Teriyaki beef stir fry. With the thing. So all I'd have to do is let you put that on the pan, right there. It's actually it's bigger than it looks. Yeah, put that on the pan. That's me tea. I'm gonna have a bit of broccoli and stuff with that. Okay, so that's me tea for tonight. But they vacuum me some um, salt and pepper lime chicken as well. They've also these what these ones that looked heavy. Uh, one of these three uh, lamb burgers. They was. Look at this, so I got them to do it in about, four, each one's about, four, that's about 400 gram of steak. I've got about four, that's about 400, maybe 450 gram of uh, lamb. 400 gram of chicken, another 400 gram of chicken. So I'll just literally have one of them a day. So that's gonna last me four days there. And that's about 400 gram as well. So I don't really need much over 400 gram of meat a day because in the morning I have a five egg omelet. So that's a good bit of protein. I'll have, like say if you have a grenade bar in the day, that's 20 grams of protein. So the more ready on 70, 
and then this is probably like 70 as well so puts me on about 140 that's all that i need they say you should have one pound uh, of protein per body weight but i just don't really like eating that much protein and i think 0.7 grams of uh, protein per body weight is more than enough you know what i mean don't you ever just feel like you're going round and round in circles yeah with your diet and like what i always tend to do i tend to get on a good straight and narrow bit and i'm killing my diet i'm low carb my diet's going sick and all of a sudden i just eat this wall and i end up going back to where i was you know what i mean and then again going round and round in circles i just fucking want to get to the top you know what i mean <laughs> So people, we're in the kitchen, yeah, and in the kitchen is where it all happens, as I say, it's like 90%, right? So you want to focus on your diet, yeah, and the diet is the most important thing because if you go in the gym like me, lifting weights and you're eating shit, you're just not going to see anything. So you need to make sure you, you get your diet in check. Now, this is just a little quick recap and a quick run through to what you need to do to get your calories, get your protein goal and your carb goal in, goal in check, yeah? So what you want to do is get your body weight in pounds, yeah? Once you know that number, times it by 11. That, so what we've done is before, what we've done is, uh, my, I'm 175 pounds, we times that by 11, that gives us 1900. But I know through experience and through like trial and error, my calorie goal is more 1800 for me to get lean. Now, I wouldn't know that uh, um, without trying this, um, times me body weight by 11. So I'd say just try that, see how you go. And if you're not losing weight, bring your calories down a bit lower, okay? In terms of your protein, just times your body weight by 0.7 to one pound. So if you, a lot of bodybuilders these days, they say have one pound of body, uh, protein per body weight. So that'd be 175. But I, what I tend to is go about north eight. So I have 140 grams of protein per day. That's enough for me. But you can take it as low as one, uh, 0.7 if you wanted to. And with your carbs as well, this is the thing. Now, as I say, if I have 200 grams of carbs a day, I feel like I won't get as lean quickly. I could take them right down to 50 grams of carbs per day. I'd get lean a lot quicker, but I wouldn't have the strength. Now you need your strength as well if you're lifting heavy and you want to progress and get your physique up. The, the idea is to keep your strength as high as you possibly can and bring your carbs down low. That's why I always go for like somewhere like in the middle, 100 grams. Some days I have low carb days if I'm doing a like cardio, but if I'm trying to get a good heavy lifting and a good heavy workout day, in, I'll have more carbs to, for my workout. So I always tend to have me, when I am doing a low carb day as well, I have more of my carbs before I go to the gym. So make sure I've got that strength in, do you know what I mean? So that's it people. Um, try that and see how you go. Well, as I say, if, um, after like a week or two, you're not losing weight, bring your calories down to, from this one to 1800. Or even then, if you're still not losing weight, bring them down another 100 calories. But I always say, you're better to use your, um, you're better to use your cardio to bring your calories down. So in the past, what I'd done is, I'd, um, I'd bring my calories down to 1800, down to 1700, down to 1600. End of, the, end of the day, I was eating for whole, so I think it's better to create the deficit with the cardio now. So just just do more steps or do more time on the bike, you know what I mean? Just the thing, right? So I, obviously, like, my carbs have been really, really low at the minute, and uh, I'm trying to get them as low as I can to intentionally deplete my body of glycogen before uh, Marbella. And then a few days out, we're just going to carb up, and then just I'll still be lean, but we'll be fuller. Just the thing, right? Oh. If you look at my arms, you can tell when I'm depleted just by the, the veins in my arms because when I've got a lot of carbs in me and like a good pump, I'll, I'll, my veins will be sticking out, they'll be quite like bulging, but at the minute they're a bit faint. Look at that bro, show the people. It's a bit vein, it's a bit faint and you can't hardly see my veins and stuff. So once we carve up, you'll literally see the veins. So just want to to let you know now so you can see the difference from now to my bear. Action, you're hilarious you. <laughs> right, don't put that in by the way. Um, <laughs> I don't know you, like you put anything in the video, anything to say. So people, we've just stopped off in the services and I got myself a little coffee and now I, I get me coffees in the, from Starbucks like I like me women, you know what I mean? Blonde Americano. <laughs> At the minute, my carbs are quite low. I'm trying to have 40 active carbs a day. Now what I mean by that is 40 active carbs. This bar alone, yeah, 40 grams of carbs and it's like 216 calories, right? But the thing is, I'm trying to keep my carbs as low as I can. So far in the day, I've had about 80 grams of carbs. Now, 
the rest of me got obviously that's that's the only uh, uh, actual carbs I've had but the rest of the carbs come from my veg come from like sauces on my meat and like I put red sauce on my meals and things like that so somehow I've uh, racked up another 40 uh, grams of carbs when I typed it in all on me yeah? so that's what I mean because so I've already had one of these today yeah and I'm on 80 grams of carbs now as I say so that's the service and I feel a bit peckish so all I've had is basically meat and veg apart from the uh, milk bar I'm gonna have one of these grenade bars as well these are 20 grams of carbs so this is going to take me to 100 grams of carbs for today I'm trying to keep it under 100 carbs I feel like a good a good point for me to get lean I like had a good pace, but still keep me strength and that is about 100 carbs. I think that's sound for me. But because we've got a little event coming up in the, in the coming weeks, you know, so I'm trying to um, get it really lean. So I'm trying to get the, I'm probably in the leanest I've ever been in my life right now, but I'm trying to get really, really lean. So my carbs are going to have to be low. I'm aiming for between, as I say, 40 to 50 active carbs a day. So that's like intentional carbs, like rice cakes, oats, things like that. So people are thought, you know, whilst we're having our coffee and I'm going to tuck into this old bar, I thought I'd just tell you is about the way that goes on outside the gym because not many people realise, people think you just go to the gym, you eat well, but I think the biggest factor in what determines whether you're going to get in shape or not is your mindset. Now, before you get go on any diet, before you start lifting them big girls in the gym, you need to get your mind right. I always joke and say, Oh, I'm going to have a little coffee in the morning to get my mind right. But if your mind's not in it, your mind's will give up. This is what I'm saying. So every morning I have my supplements, I have my creatine, they have my fish oil, multivitamins and all of that, right? Now, that might just seem innocent. I would go for you trying to like improve myself and, you know, make me inside better. But there's a thing, there's a mental thing to that. When I wake up and I have my black coffee and I have my water and I do all these things, that just sets the rest of me day up. Oh, do you know what? I never used to like coffee at all, but I started drinking the black coffees for the fasting because they give you energy and bone your appetite and things like that, but now I actually enjoy a coffee. Now, this is the thing as well. I was speaking to one of my mates recently and he goes to me, he's on this, like, trying to lose weight and all that and trying to get lean, and I was speaking to him about it and he goes, do you know what? I've been going low carb, because actually, when you go low carb, you know you're not hungry whatsoever, don't you? It's the carbs which uh, increase your blood sugar levels and make you more hungry. But uh, anyway, I was saying to him, you know, he's going low carb. He's like, you know what? I'm not hungry, but I don't think I'm eating enough. I said, make sure you get enough protein and then don't worry about it. This is what I always say. If you're at a point where you're not really hungry, ride that wave. If you're not, if you're not hungry and you're trying to get lean, don't fucking force yourself to eat. Just keep it how it is and just stick with it. You know what I mean? Just ride that wave. If you're not hungry, in like, because I have, periods myself where in my life where some months I'll be really really hungry and some months I'll be I won't want to eat at all so use the momentum for whichever one if you're all not hungry at all make sure your diet and get a little bit leaner if you're really hungry all the time then you know turn it into a little ball both and you know make sure you're hitting heavy lifts and all of that so I'll just a couple of little updates for you people I just thought to change up a bit of scenery as well get because we're always in dedicated and I bet you everyone's bored of just watching me lift and weight and dedicated the force of zone into you, have a little chat with you and get down on, on a personal level so you can have a little coffee with me, you know what I mean? We can chill out, me and you, get our minds right. <laughs> Both of us get our minds right. And if you're watching, I hope you've got like a little old bar and a coffee as well, that'll make it really special, you know what I mean? It's sad, but it's true, people. I don't want to be a YouTuber, and it sounds mad, I'm making YouTube videos and week in, week out, I'm making fitness videos and all that, but I don't want to be one of them YouTuber ones, because when I think about a YouTuber, you know what I think of, like fucking KSI, Logan Paul and all of that, and like, obviously the multi-millionaire, successful YouTube channels, they've got millions of followers, and like, obviously I'd love to do, do that and have all them followers, but I don't want to, I'd never want to say to someone, oh, what's your job? Oh, I'm a YouTuber, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be successful in my life without YouTube, and YouTube is just like something in the background, what we're doing as well. Do you know what I mean? Because I, I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur, baby. I've got a business mindset. I want to go to the stars anyway. And YouTube, I want you people to come along with it and watch out, watch me grow. That's all I want to be. I want it to be like a little side thing, but it's not. I don't want to do it for money. I don't know. I want to be on YouTube to try and become a fucking famous YouTuber. Do you know what I mean? And this is the thing, people, as well. I was thinking, right? I thought, like a lot of people would be at home wondering this, so I thought I'd educate you and sell values, right? And the question is, does everyone 
need to go low carb to get lean? And the answer is no, they don't. Some people, if, you, if you, you've got good genetics, you can literally eat 300 grams of carbs a day and you can get lean still. But the majority of people, literally, you need to bring your carbs. All you think about any bodybuilder before they go on stage, they go low carb, no matter who you are, they all bring the carbs down, do you know what I mean? So, but this is the thing, the only way you're gonna find out what sort of person you are is testing it. So, if you bring, start with your carbs at 300 and it be in a deficit still. If you're not losing weight, then unfortunately you're gonna to have to bring your carbs down or move a bit more, do you know what I mean?